Well, hello, Mount Airy fourth graders. It's that time of the year again. I am Mayor Rockenberg, and I look forward to this time of the year and visiting with the best group of fourth graders around. I was able to visit last February, but unfortunately, this year, I will not be able to see you in person. Oh. Neither will Meatball, who is also very upset. Since I won't be able to answer your questions live, I do want to answer the one I always get. Will you be very happy to hear that a Chick-fil-A is coming to Mount Airy and should be open by the end of this year? <laughs> yes, you will. That is the one question I've probably been asked for the last at least five to 10 years. Will we get a Chick-fil-A? Well, we will. And I'd like to thank uh, the Town Council, uh, Planning Commission, and everybody going in all the details to make. It's going to be a busy business, but fortunately, it'll be at the end of the road under the highway, they'll give us great services and they're closed on Sunday. Okay, heard the cheering happen. Uh, Meatball, do you like Chick-fil-A? No, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it. Meatball said, that's a good girl. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the If I Were Mayor presentation and submit your story about what you would do if you were in my shoes. I'm very proud to say Mountain Area has a great history of winners and if you were mayor, essay contest. Many people from that area have won. I would love to see some more of our students win. I know whatever happens, you will represent us well. If you have any questions about the contest, we have created a webpage. Well, I'll probably give that credit to Gina Campanelli uh, that will have all the information you might need. I look forward to announcing the Mount Airy If I Were Mayor Contest winners at the next Mount Airy Council meeting. I don't know if it's the next one or the one following, but when it happens, you will be announced here in public. If you win, you will be going to Annapolis. Uh, of course, it's all depending on COVID-19, which we hope is getting better and better and better and it seems to be. So with that said, stay safe, stay well. Thank you for being an amazing part of our town. We love our fourth graders, we love all our children. We love our town. Thank you, Mount Airy. Good luck. Hello, Mount Airy fourth graders. My name is Gina Campanelli, and I'm here with Melissa Thorne and Ashley Collier. We're here from the Mount Airy Town staff, and we wanted to invite you to participate in Maryland Municipal League's If I Were Mayor SA contest. You may be wondering what is a municipality? And many of you live in a municipality. It is a city or a town that operates independently from the county that it's in. It has its own charter. And a charter is a set of rules on how the municipality will operate. Citizens living in a municipality elect their own officials, like mayor, town council, who create a budget, create ordinances or local rules, and provide services and programs for residents. Can you think of other services that you may receive when you live in a municipality? We have things like road maintenance for snow clearing when it snows, trash collection, water and sewer services, and park maintenance, such as cutting the grass. Maryland municipality, fun fact. How many municipalities do you think Maryland has? I'll give you a few seconds. Think of it in your head, What? how many municipalities, and again, that's how many cities or towns are in Maryland. Are you ready for the answer? It's 157, that's a lot. That's a lot. And here is a map. Oh, oops, sorry. Flip so fast. I'm sorry. Go it's ahead, really <laughs> It's really tiny. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, you are probably familiar. That is our state of Maryland. And that little semicircle on the bottom with the little square cut out is, of course, um, a blown up version of where um, the cities and towns around uh, DC, Washington, DC is. So that's just a snapshot of all of them. 
and you can see Mount Airy is right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, the connection between Frederick, Kell, Montgomery, and Howard counties. We're very unique in that way. Mount Airy, uh, the BNO Railroad was important to the growth of Mount Airy. How did Mount Airy get its name? Does anyone know? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Mount Airy was named by the railroad foreman who commented. This is an Irish mountain. So Mount Airy is from this is an Irish mountain. Mayor Pat always likes to invite the fourth graders to go home and ask their parents and see if they know. In what year was the town incorporated? That's another question for you. Think about it. And if you look closely at the slide, if you can see, the answer is right in front of you. Mm -hmm. At the very top here, it was incorporated in 1894. That was a long time ago, even older than your parents and grandparents. <gasps> it established the structure of local government, including mayor and town council. So way back then, they decided that we would have a mayor and town council. And we actually still have the original documents from then, a long time ago. 1894. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the structure of local government, the powers and duties that are outlined in the, the town charter establish the position of mayor. And this is our chief executive officer. They are in charge of everything executive within town hall. They are also the chief financial officer so you probably heard of CEO and CFO, that's chief financial officer. And they are there to appoint the officers, the employees at town hall and any advisory commission members. Town council for the town of Mount Airy consists of five council members um, with department liaisons and they have legislative powers. And if you didn't know, those are elected positions, the mayor and all five town council positions. And this year, there's an opportunity for uh, the mayor to be reelected or have a new mayor. And we also have two council positions that are up for reelection. That is council member Patty Washabal and council member Larry Hushauer. So if you or your parents, I guess you aren't eligible, you're not old enough yet, but if your parents are interested in running, you can uh, look on our website for more information on how to put your nomination in and get their name on about. Let's see, council meetings. When does the town council meet? The town council meets every month on the first Monday of the month. Since we've had the pandemic and haven't been able to be in person like we are today, we are doing virtual meetings via Zoom. Um, you guys have become experts in having virtual classrooms. So we all, uh, also have virtual meetings. So they are the first Monday of every month at 7.30, unless there's a public meeting beforehand, and then it would start at seven o'clock. But all that information is on our Facebook page and website, and you can even watch it live on our Facebook page. A budget. It's also budgeting time. So uh, the town staff prepares the budget initially. We kind of review the expensive expenses we made last year and what expenses we might need to make the next year. We prepare it to present to the mayor and then the mayor presents it to the town council and at that point it needs to be approved by them or changed until it does become an approved budget. Where does the revenue come from to operate the town? I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Just a few seconds. Uh, the town uh, revenue actually comes from you guys. It comes from taxes. So anybody who lives within the incorporated town 
that's kind of a smaller section of Mount Airy, um, the incorporated town. If you do live in the incorporated town, you know because you have you receive a water bill every month and you don't have well water. But um, if you do live within town, then you need to pay uh, taxes every year to help pay for those services such as trash collection, water service. Again, what we mentioned previously. And you guys also pay our salaries. Melissa, Ashley, and I are paid by um, the taxes. Oh, and I, I already skipped ahead and gave you the answer for the next question is how many employees work for the town? Currently we have approximately 42 employees. That includes everybody at town hall. It includes the public work staff that are out there collecting your trash and mowing the grass and uh, keeping things looking nice and neat in town as well as our police department that keeps us safe. Here we're gonna talk about the departments and commissions that make up our town of Mount Airy. First, we have the Planning and Zoning Commission. They are critical within the town and the state of Maryland actually, following specific rules on how different um, pieces of land within the town and different buildings can operate. Saying there can be an office in this section of this building, but this one has to be a restaurant. And then legally going through the ways that you can um, make improvements to your community, um, such as adding a Chick-fil-A like the mayor talked about. Um, that goes through the planning and the zoning department to make sure that the building is going to be um, sound and that everything is according to our town laws. Next, we have the Water and Sewer Commission, who is critical in getting us our fresh, clean water to your door every day. Um, they can make decisions, and, and I'm, I'm talking about the, the commission, but the department as well. They work together in making decisions on what goes into your water to keep it clean and how much money that they're allocating in the budget to pay for those things. We also have our sanitation and recycling. Everybody here um, creates a little bit of trash, right? You guys have your apple cores and you've got, um, actually Ashley can talk about that in the sustainability section. Um, you've got wrappers and different things and you put them in the trash. Well, somebody has to collect that. Um, I hope everybody here is working hard to remember that there are certain things that can be recycled, of course, and those things go in a different bin and they're collected probably on a different day from the recycling. Streets and Roads Department, they make sure that your roads are paved annually so that the potholes when you're driving in the car and you feel the bump, somebody has to fix that as well as the street signs, making sure that um, different areas of town that may have higher speeds, people going through a little bit faster than they should, they can run tests and provide research and perhaps make some positive changes to the community like adding a speed bump or a um, one of those speed cameras that rem reminds the public to slow down and pay attention a little bit more. We have the Parks and Recreation Department and Commission, and they work towards um, keeping our parks safe, making sure that the playgrounds and the walking trails and the fishing pond and every sort of, we call them amenities within the parks are working as they should. A lot of what they work towards also is uh, an, a side called programming and adding in, um, you know, a lot of our youth, you guys are in baseball or soccer um, and Parks and Recreation likes to plan out our ball fields with how um, people will use them. And we also have an Economic Development Commission. I work with the Economic Development Commission as their staff liaison. And we meet to talk about the health of our business community and what we like to see um, for downtown Mount Airy. We like to um, talk about activities that are gonna be happening on a monthly basis to help bring foot traffic to our businesses. And Ash is gonna talk about more commissions and departments. 
Within Mount Airy, uh, we also have a newer commission, Sustainability, uh, which is also sometimes referred to as Green Team. It was originally a volunteer group that got together to look at sustainable practices throughout Mount Airy and how Mount Airy can work on having a collective vision on where we see ourselves in the future. So they actually got together and formed a new commission, which is Sustainability Commission. Um, so they work on all sorts of things that touch on renewable resources, uh, the EV chargers that we have in some of our parks and rec, um, and a lot of fun uh, outdoor projects, trash cleanup, composting, community garden. Um, we also have the Junior Task Force, which is a great commission. I think that's the second youngest commission that we have. And that is actually citizen run by uh, students around your age. And also it's something that if someone was interested in, you can go to our website, Junior Task Force is listed and you can actually get more information about joining that if you would like to start becoming active in our local government now. It's a great opportunity for you to work on smaller projects with council and mayor and staff uh, that can have a real impact on our um, community. Beautification is probably our busiest of all the commissions directly. The volunteers that are part of the Beautification Commission um, actively go out and maintain the garden beds at our entry signs um, in different parks, the beautiful flower garden that we have along rails of trails. Uh, they are out there themselves as volunteers, coordinating, getting plants, weeding, taking care of those spaces. Um, so they keep us beautiful all around town. And then another new department that I know we all love is our new police department. Um, we have, I think, 11 officers now and we see them out and about all the time. I'm sure if you're at Walmart, you've seen Officer Adam out there. Um, they're always happy to greet you and they're an integral part of our uh, departments in our community. Oops. Working together works. The town of Maneri could not accomplish what we do for the community without our citizens and the many volunteers. The town has approximately how many volunteers do you think? How many volunteers on our commissions do you think it takes to get all the work done by our commissions? A million. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually 60, but you were close, Ashley. 60 volunteers on all of our commissions that uh, Melissa and Ashley just went over. That's a lot. It, it takes a lot of people and we're very appreciative that we have so many people willing to help uh, get things done around our town, including our junior task force. So if you're interested in that, please visit, us, visit our website and find out how you can get involved. If you were mayor, what would you do? This is your opportunity, guys, to think of ways to improve this community and pretending you were the mayor how you would solve the problems. So the first question listed here, list an issue you think is a problem in your city town community. And um, I think it's a great idea actually to brainstorm all of the ideas that you have, just write them down or type them on the computer and come up with a list of like 10 things that you'd like to see or something that might um, need, you might see that needs improvement within your town. Um, you may even wanna ask your parents because they probably have things that they've, they're they thinking about too as they're paying the water bills or you know setting the trash out. And then number two, what would you change to solve that problem? So maybe out of the 10 things on your list, um, you can see how some of those may have uh, real solutions that you can put into place. And then now that we're dealing with our virtual reality right now, how would you bring people together to help in a virtual setting? What could you do to get the ideas of um, more people that live in this community to make um, decisions and to help you solve the issue? And there are examples on the website, which I will send to your teachers that you can look at for ideas of past winners that might help you um, get your ideas flowing. important 
This will be Ashley's slide. <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> but what's important? I can't see the rest. <laughs> I know. There's the rest. <laughs> Some important information to also keep in mind is essays may not exceed 275 words. Only one per student. They can be received no later than March 26, 2021. Your teacher will guide you through the essay preparation, so please reach out to your teacher with any questions. And winners will be notified by late April. So information will be out at the end of the month of April to let you know if you've won. Um, and we have, we do have, like Mayor Pat said in the intro, we do have a rich history of many winners from Mount Airy. So we're hoping we'll have one this year as well. Um, in the past, there were some in-person um, parties or celebrations um, to the winners. This year, everything will be virtual. So you do get cash, which everybody loves cash, um, a governor's citation. So there'll be a nice certificate that you'll receive in the mail. And also you'll get special recognition at the Mount Airy Town Council meeting, whichever one follows up after the winners are announced. If we're virtual, then Mayor Pat will just be, or someone will be announcing the winners. Um, if it is in person by that time, we'd love to invite you to attend that meeting. Uh, also, if it's uh, virtual, you could join us on the Zoom meeting as well. And from all of us at Town Hall, we wish everyone the best of luck. Again, I will be sending all the information to your teachers so they will know how to submit, how to help you submit your essay. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at Town Hall at 301-829-1424. And um, I will be, again, be sending all the information to your teachers so they should be able to help, um, help you answer any of the questions you might have. So good luck and hopefully next year we'll be able to visit you in person. We enjoyed this time with you. Um, sorry, we've all had to struggle through the uh, challenges that COVID-19 has brought us, but we know you and your teachers are doing a great job even under the difficult circumstances. Good luck kids. Have a great day.